Sea of Thieves just had their preview stream and here is everything you need to know. First off, let's talk about Season 12. New tools, new rules are on the way. Specifically, two new weapons and three new tools for players to enjoy. We have the throwing knives, which can be used at close, medium and long range depending on how you use them. Then, we're getting the double barrel pistol. Not only will it have a faster fire rate than your standard flintlock pistol, but it also brings in more damage too, with two pellets being fired at the same time. The three tools Sea of Thieves are adding will forever change how we play and explore the world around us. The wind caller horn will allow players to blow wind into their sails to either escape or catch up with another ship, but it can also knock players off your ship or even stop fall damage. Let's be real, it can't just be me that falls off the edge of Kraken's fall on a regular basis. Whereas the bone caller is a new throwable, which causes skeletons to appear around you. Instead of getting your sword at the ready, these skeletons will be on your side and will help defend your ship from onboarding players or aid you in defeating that Ashen Lord over there. This tool will be so helpful, from solo players right through to your four-man galley crew. If cannons are more your style, we have the new Scattershot entering our remit. When fired, this special cannonball will see multiple tier 1 size holes appear in your enemy's ships. Whilst yeah, a few holes never hurt anybody, but imagine the wood supplies you could make someone rinse through if they have every hole in their hull. As the main cannoneer of my crew, this very much had me hooked. But the tools don't stop there. The harpoon is getting a glow up. Soon, you'll be able to walk along your harpoons, especially great for those who are not a fan of sharks coming to bite you every 5 seconds in the water. Now you can harpoon to a nearby island and you won't even have to get your feet wet. If you're skilled enough, you could use this feature to board unsuspecting nearby ships. Just saying. Finally, the last tool for Season 12 is zip lines. How many times have you looked around you with a small pile of loot you have in front of you and sighed because you know you have a long walk back to your ship? I know we're all thinking it, Old Faithful can get in the bin. Well now you can hop on a zip line back to your ship or from the land of Monkey Island. Next up, we have season 13, and there's only one word to describe this season, Flameheart. May the flame burn in his glory. Yep, that's right, Flameheart is making a grand entrance back to life, and his Burning Blade ship will have the ultimate upgrade. Not only does he get a balcony and a ritual room, but there's also 10 cannons and a flamethrower at the front. This is the man of war we have been asking for years. To access this beast of a ship, you need to pledge your allegiance to the flame. Become Flameheart's very own crew. Work alongside his devilish skeletons and watch as the seas cower in fear. As you go, you'll be sent on various errands and tasks to complete in Flameheart's honour. The more you do, the more valuable the ship becomes. But who will stand in your way? The new skeleton camps around the map will also be accessible by non-Burning Blade crew. But those skeletons might not be too happy to see you. Battle in combat against them, discover the secrets that lie within, and claim the brand new red orb. Now, looking ahead to season 14, Rare have nicknamed this season as Pirates of Mischief. From new ways to be stealthy and cause some healthy means of chaos, they are looking into new tools such as being able to use blow darts to behave in certain ways, from sound effects to using skeletons to do random acts on your behalf. Then we've got the talk of traps and even a grapple gun to steal treasure and to take you to higher places and even land you on enemy crew ships. All in all, my mind is blown by what Rare have revealed about this year ahead. I'm excited to dive into new lore, discover new islands and practice with new tools and weapons. What is your favourite thing coming this year? Let me know in the comments. Horizon.